Hello boys and girls, and welcome to our lesson on simplifying fractions. Now before we begin, I want you to remember that anything you put your mind to do, you can do it. So let's get started. Simplifying fractions, that's our topic. When we make a fraction as simple as we can get it, we call it simplifying a fraction. There are many ways to say simplify the fraction. You can also say reduce the fraction, write the fraction in lowest term, write the fraction in simplest terms. Let's go over that again. You can also say reduce the fraction, Write the fraction in lowest term. Write the fraction in simplest terms. Let's simplify some fractions. I hope you're ready. Here we have our first example. We need to write this fraction in simplest form. This fraction is 6 ninths. Our first step when simplifying a fraction is to list the factors of the numerator and denominator. So we have the numerator 6 and the factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3, and 6. We also have our denominator 9 and the factors of 9 are 1, 3, and 9. You can think about it like this. Which two numbers can I multiply to give me six? Which two numbers can I multiply to give me nine? For example, two times three equals six. So I know two and three are factors of six. One times six equals six. So I know one and six is a factor of six. Our next step is to find the greatest common factor, also known as GCF. Sometimes it is referred to as highest common factor, HCF. So as you can see, our greatest common factor is three. You will also notice that one is also a common factor. However, it is not the greatest. Our third step is to divide the numerator and denominator by the GCF. As you saw in the previous slide, our GCF is three. So we are going to take six and divide it by three and that will give us two. Next, we are going to take nine and divide it by three, and that will equal three. So here we have two thirds. Here is example two. We are going to write this fraction in simplest form. Step one is to list the factors of the numerator and denominator. The numerator is five, and the factors of five are one and five. The denominator is 15, and the factors of 15 are one, three, five, and 15. Now, don't forget, you can think about it like this. Which two numbers can I multiply to give me five? Which two numbers can I multiply to give me 15? For example, three times five equals 15. So three and five are factors of 15. 
Our second step is to find the greatest common factor. And we can see here that the greatest common factor is five. Example two is almost finished. We are going to go to step three and we're going to divide the numerator and denominator by the GCF. As you saw in the previous slide, our GCF is five. So we're going to take the numerator five and divide it by five and that equals one. And we're going to take the denominator 15 and divide it by five and that equals three. And so our fraction our simplified answer is one-third. 